हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन दी लास्ट क्लास आई हैव डिस्कस सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स अबाउट दी डायनामिक वोल्टेज रिस्टोरर एंड टुडे वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व वन एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन दी कंसेप्ट्स डिस्क्राइब्ड इन दी प्रीवियस सेक्शन दिस एग्जांपल इज 6.2 फ्रॉम दी एनपीटेल बुक in which we are given a system voltage of 230 volt you can see here this is system voltage of 230 volt which is nothing but 1.0 per unit at 50 hertz system okay shown here in this figure and we are also given that the feeder impedance is zs 0.05 plus j 0.3 per unit and the impedance of the load is 0.5 plus j 0.3 okay we have to compute number 1 the dvr voltage uh, the voltage at the load without dvr number 2 what must be the value of dvr voltage to maintain the condition of bl is equal to bs B L is equal to B S. This condition. And third part, we have to compute the effective source voltage. What is effective source voltage? It is sum of B S plus B F. Okay, you can call it B S dash. Is nothing but B S. plus bf it becomes the effective voltage seen as the source and then we have to compute the terminal voltage with the dvr compensation that is this voltage okay so let us go ahead one by one so first thing that the dvr voltage Uh, without dvr when there is dvr is not connected to the system this is a part actually so it say a part then this is the bs and 1.0 per unit this is zs and this is the zl so therefore the current in this system is given by is is equal to i equal to il given as the ratio of the phase ratio of bs and impedance so bs by zs plus zl what is the value of bs it is 1.0 angle of zero and this is the total impedance here okay and that makes the value of current as 1.2286 angle of minus 47.5 Four nine amps. Okay, and with this, the value of voltage is Z L into I S or I L. So Z L is known to us. I S is known to us. We can find out the value of the voltage, which comes out to be zero point seven one six four angle of minus. 16.53 as you see there is a 29% reduction in the terminal voltage okay 29% reduction in the terminal voltage which is not acceptable of course in order to satisfy the requirement of the load and load may not perform to the expected level because voltage is quite less it may not operate even sometimes so what to do then there comes part b where we have to connect the dvr and find out what is the value of dvr voltage in order to make it 1.0 per unit at the load so this is 1.0 per unit 
ओके नाउ वी सब्सिट दी वैल्यू ऑफ नाउ बी एल इज वन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट एट बी एस इज आल्सो वन पॉइंट जीरो बट एंगल्स आर नॉट सेम एंगल्स विल बी डिफरेंट वाई बिकॉज इफ द एंगल्स आर सेम इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू सेटिस्फाई द क्राइटेरिया ऑफ द वोल्टेज कंपनसेशन वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस केसेस ओके सो विद दिस न्यू वैल्यू ऑफ लोड वोल्टेज विल फाइंड आउट द करंट आई हेयर द आई इज देयर फोर वी एल वाई जेड एल एंड दिस गिव्स द करंट ऑफ वन पॉइंट सेवन वन एट एंगल ऑफ माइनस थर्टी पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स ओके दिस इज द न्यू करंट एंड विद दिस करंट वी कैन देयर फोर फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एस प्लस बी एफ विच विल रिजल्ट इन ए क्वारेटिक इक्वेशन इन पी बी एफ एज वी हैव सॉल्व लियर Now the angle of BF is IS plus ninety degree. That will ensure there is no phase shift, there is no power, active power consumed in the operation of the DVR. So BF is equal to BF RMS. This is RMS value, and this is angle of this, which is nothing but A one plus J B one. If you can recall from the previous discussion, okay. So this is nothing but a one plus b one. As you can see it here. So let's the RMS value be BF and angle be angle of IS plus ninety degree. Angle of IS minus thirty point nine six plus ninety becomes fifty nine point zero four, and therefore. The cos fifty nine point zero four is a one, and sine fifty nine point zero four is b one. So what is a one b one? This is cos of fifty nine point zero four, and this is sine of fifty nine point zero four. Okay, this is sine fifty nine point zero four, and this is cos fifty nine point zero four. okay now this will be solved and the feeder drop that is rs plus jx into is this thing will be forming the factors a2 plus jb2 so we will just multiply rs into the i which makes the values of 0.3370 plus j0.3958 Okay, so this is nothing but a two plus j b two. Okay, so this is a two as you can see from here. This is a two and this is b two. Now we can directly substitute these values of a one, b one, a two, b two. Which is expansion of actually this equation. Okay, it comes to this equation, and by solving this equation, we can find the equation in quadratic of PF. Substitute these values. A one, B one. Okay, this is also basically a two dash. And this is b1, b2. This is 1 plus a2 is square. This is b2 is square, and this is b s is square, which is actually 1.0 is square. This is in per unit, so there is no issue. If you substitute these values in this equation, then we will get this equation as quadratic equation in P F. now solving this equation gives us the two roots okay because because we have two values the one value is 0.7028 another value is 1.3434 
and if you remember from the circle diagram from this graphical analysis we have seen that the line the line means the locus of b of minus j axis i intersects the circle at two points so these two roots corresponds to the point a and b okay in the diagram which i have explained earlier they corresponds to these two points obviously we will choose this value because this is least value so to compensate the voltage i have to apply less voltage we will not prefer this value because this is higher value okay so therefore the correct solution the value of the bf is nothing but this magnitude and angle of current plus 90 degree which become 59.04 so this is the value of bf that has to be compensated now we can also write this in terms of the time function that is b f t equal to root 2 into 0.7028 into sin omega t plus 59.04 this is the time expression for the voltage that has to be realized by a power circuit to inject the voltage in series okay now with this voltage what will be the source voltage source voltage will be bl plus drop across the feeder minus bf or vs plus vf equal to this now we know bf substitute the value of vf here so vf comes here not here but the this side so this is the bf here this is rsis here and this is bl here okay so with this with these values we find that bs is equal to bs phasor is equal to this much which is nothing but 1.0 angle of minus 11 now this is quite interesting to observe that bs angle is if you can see it here is basically 1.0 it has to be 1.0 because we are maintaining the voltage 1.0 at the load and angle of minus 11.89 if you express in time domain the bs becomes root 2 into sin because this is rms value is 1 omega t minus 11.89 degree okay volts now you may perhaps get some confusion here because you say the angle is min minus 11.89 degree delta of the source with this negative angle can the power flow from the source to load you have learned that power only can flow when the source angle is positive as compared to the load angle but here it is negative okay so there is some confusion may arise but confusion will be cleared once we understand the concept of effective source voltage because bs is not only the source now the effective source is the sum of the bs plus bf because we are injecting the voltage also okay and we will call it as bs dash okay you can see from this equation down here so bs plus bf equal to bs dash equal to sum of these voltages which becomes 1.3958 angle of 16.52 now you can see it here that this angle is positive this angle is positive you can see from this also so this corresponds to the bs dash which is sum of bs plus bf 
and the value is 1.39 16.52 and this angle is therefore positive okay delta is positive so the effective angle is positive that's why power still flows from the source to the load okay so do not get confused by the negative value of bs here power power still flows from this because the effective load angle is 16.52 okay and this value is 1.3958 angle of 16.52 clear now let us compute the terminal terminal voltage okay the terminal voltage is here b this is terminal voltage actually this is effective source but if we remove the bf from this so bt is before bf okay so what is bt bt is bs minus that is is or il which is bl minus bf okay and then we solve this we'll get this value as 0.8796 minus 43 again it looks like it is quite negative angle the load angle is quite negative and it may again confuse us that whether power is flowing from load to the source or source to the load okay so again we can use the same concept we can combine this btp with bf then we can see that net angle remains positive and hence power flows from the source to the load okay to solve some more examples uh, questions based on this which are given at the end of this chapter in the pdf copy the soft copy of this unit so with this example i will also explain that how the transient operation of the dvr is achieved the till now we were talking about the steady state operation that is we are able to sense we know all these parameters the zl and zs okay and based on that we compute the uh, find out the current as well and from this current we calculate back to the dvr voltage and this calculation involves the solving the quadratic equation as a function of time and implementing it at regular interval of the time during the operation of the load but then question arises how do we achieve the transient operation of the dvr this is new topic in the same line so i will also today discuss this then the other remaining topics will be discussed later on now what is meaning of transient operation basically it means how do you implement the scheme of the dvr on the real time basis okay so for that we should have some way some method has to be followed to implement the transient operation of the dvr so three main steps are involved four steps are being involved the first step in the transient operation is define a reference quantity very important the first step is to define the reference quantity normally load voltage so we will call load voltage as the reference quantity its value is nominal its angle is zero okay and then the other quantities are synchronized to this quantity it's like basically defining a reference phasor and locking the other components other variables other voltage and currents to this voltage and current okay this is the first step the second step is to compute the dvr angle okay from the fundamental fundamental component of the line current so basically if there are harmonics in the load currents we extract the fundamental component of line current if there is no harmonic is fine if there is a harmonic you have to find i let us say 
ए वन और यू कैन से आई वन सो आई कैन राइट दिस इज आई वन फेजर प्लस नाइन्टी डिग्री एंगल ऑफ दिस प्लस नाइन्टी डिग्री बिकम्स द एंगल ऑफ द डी बी आर ओके सो एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट ए वन प्लस जे बी वन सो वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल देन वी सॉल्व द आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस डी बी आर यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन ओके इन विच द वी एल हैज बीन टेकन रेफरेंस फेजर सो वैल्यू ऑफ वी एल इज बेसिकली बी एस इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो पर यूनिट ओके सो द वैल्यू ऑफ बी एस बींग सॉल्व इट विल गिव यू टू वैल्यूज बट वी विल टेक द लीस्ट वैल्यू बिकॉज दैट इज मोर ऑप्टिमम टू रियलाइज दी बी आर and the fourth step is to construct the voltage in time domain and synthesize it with the help of the power circuit then it's being synthesized using a power circuit so from these steps constructs construct the voltage bf as a function of time so it will be like root 2 into b into sin omega t plus the angle of bf and once we know this then we have to track with the help of the filter or any voltage source inverter topology or structure clear the scheme which we i have described just now this equation actually okay this equation can be called as type 1 control type 1 control is one kind of a control where i have to solve the dvr voltage using the parameters of the load and the feeder impedance and the source voltage and they are being reflected in the values of these parameters a1 okay b1 b2 and then a2 and b2 and bs and so on the another kind of control can be called as type 2 control okay type 2 control can be the control based on the local quantities it is sometimes difficult to get the value of zs because zs is the source impedance and we may not know it so measuring this value or knowing this value sometimes may be a difficult thing so can we bypass it by having some local measurements local measurements basically means that we are at the load bus we are standing at the load bus the load bus is local for us the load bus is local for the person who is installing the db uh, installing the dvr for the customer okay so in that case if we again refer the figure 6.1 the basic figure maybe i can draw it here so that it's not causing any problem so what we have basically we have this voltage here then we have a source bus feeder impedance here then we have a vt so this is vt this is bs okay then we have a dvr here minus plus call it bf and then we have a load bus bl and then we have a impedance here load impedance this makes the complete circuit for the dvr 
सो नाउ बी आर एट दी लोकल बस दिस इज द लोकल बस फॉर मी इवन दिस द लोकल बस फॉर मी वॉट आई डू नॉट नो इज दिस पॉइंट बैकवर्ड आई हैव नो नॉलेज अबाउट दिस ऑल दो आई हैव नॉलेज अबाउट दी वोल्टेज द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस वोल्टेज कैन बी पास टू दिस रोड साइड बाई फाइबर नेटवर्क और बाई सम अदर वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन ओके सो एनी वे वॉट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द लोड वोल्टेज एंड द टर्मिनल वोल्टेज थ्रू बी एफ ऑब्वियसली द बी टी इज इक्वल टू बी एल माइनस बी एफ बी टी इज इक्वल टू बी एल माइनस बी एफ यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हेयर ओके एंड देयर फोर बी एल लेटर से रेफरेंस वोल्टेज अभी है सर हर्लियर सो लेट वी एल बी द रेफरेंस वोल्टेज एंड वी एफ इज बी एफ एंगल ऑफ बी एफ विच इज एवन प्लस सी बी वन एंड कलेक्टिंग द कॉफी सेंट्स ऑफ द रियल इमेजनरी दिस बिकम्स बी एल माइनस ए वन बी एफ दिस बिकम्स माइनस जे बी वन बी एफ लेट बी टर्मिनल बी बी टी एंगल ऑफ डेल्टा टी विच हैज ए रियल पार्ट ऑफ बी टी कॉस डेल्टा टी प्लस जे बी टी साइन डेल्टा टी एंड देयर फोर द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज बी टी कॉस डेल्टा टी प्लस जे बी टी साइन डेल्टा टी इक्वल टू बी एल माइनस ए बी एफ माइनस जे बी वन बी एफ ओके नाउ Comparing this, the coefficients, squaring, adding the real imaginary parts, we will get B T square equal to B L minus A one B F square plus B one square B F square. Again, you see there is a A one B F square and there is a A one B one B F square. Together makes B F square. So these two terms. become vf square this one and vl is here this is vl square and this becomes minus 2 a1 bl vf okay therefore we form this quadratic equation okay and this equation is is a more simplified than the previous one that is the type one control and this scheme is called as type two control so if we use this equation this concept is called type two control what is the difference between type 1 and type 2 in type 2 we don't need a2 and b2 which involves the feeder impedance values we have to know the feeder impedance impedance values to implement the type 1 control here the feeder impedance is not being involved and b depend upon the measurement of basically the load voltage and the terminal voltage and the value of a1 and b1 b1 also disappears only a1 is there okay so remember this is based on the local variables rather than depending upon the source impedance variable so this is type 2 control which assumes the knowledge of a bt okay bl is defined for us and we have to solve for bf now one thing more before i go for the other components there is a small part of three phase operation of the dvr the first case is the three phase voltage compensated system with dvr without harmonics so we are not taking the harmonics here okay there are no harmonics here so 
without harmonics basically means that we have a three phase unbalanced system which does not have harmonics in that case how will be compensating the dvr voltages as i said for three phase system we have to solve three equations one for each phase okay so how shall be doing this first we find the if I A for each phase, I B and I C, the angle of I A, I B, I C. Add 90 angle to each of them. This becomes the phase angle of B F A, B F B, B F C, which becomes nothing but basically A 1 for phase A plus J B 1 for phase A. This becomes A 1 for phase B plus J B for phase B, and this becomes a1 for phase C and J B1 for phase C. Then B solve three equations of voltage quadratic equation either using for type 1 or using for type 2 depending upon the availability of parameters. So we can use any of them. Using this type 1 or type 2 control, we basically solve the RMS value of voltages. We solve basically BFA, BFB and BFC. Correct. Now once we know BFA, BFB, BFC, then using the phase angle information, we can construct BFA, BFB and BFC. And once we know these voltages, then we can track these voltages using the power circuit. Okay. So, this is the operation of the DVR for three phase system without harmonics. In the next class, I will discuss about the operation of three phase DVR with unbalanced voltages and with presence of harmonics. So I will stop here and we will continue the next lecture.